Hello all. Welcome to this guided project on deep learning with PyTorch object localization. In this project, we are going to do a localization task in which we will pass an image to a convolutional neural network architecture and that architecture will output the bounding box. So basically in this project, we are going to use a simple data set which will consist of vegetables uh, like eggplant, mushroom and cucumber. So this is going to be a very simple data set. So the main thing in this project is we are going to do a task in which a network will output the coordinates and we will plot that coordinates. So before you dive into this project, there are some prerequisites. The first thing is you should know the basics of PyTorch like how to create new, how to create neural network or how to create model or uh, uh, how the training loop works like that. And another thing is you should know the theoretical concept behind convolutional neural network and optimization. So in this task, we are going to first copy this drive to our Google account. So first thing first, we are going to sign in with our Google account. So let's click on sign in. Okay. So first of all, here you have to enter your credential. So I am also going to enter my credential. So I'm going to pause my recording here. As soon as the sign in process gets complete, I will start it. Okay. So I have successfully signed in with my Google account. I hope you did the same because without signing, in you will not be able to access this notebook so second thing after signing into google account is to click on copy to drive in order to copy this notebook to your google drive so let's click so this notebook is now successfully saved to your respective google drive let's close this previous tab okay now this project is going to be completely on gpu device so we are going to change our runtime type to gpu here i have default to gpu but if you are having none please click on gpu and please click on save okay now if you are not connected make sure to click to connect in order to do the in order to make your notebook to to the gpu device okay so successfully connected you can see here connected three google compute engine backend gpu okay so this task is all about installing the libraries modules and introduction so first of all we are going to install some basic libraries which are not present in the google collab so that is the albumentation and team which are going to be very useful in the further task. So let's install it. So let's run this set. Okay, this will take some time. Okay, so it is successfully installed. The next thing is to download the data set. So let's run this cell. Shift enter. Okay, so data set is successfully downloaded so you can click on file so you can see here we got our data set folder inside that data set folder we have the train csv and uh, we have the train images so you can see here we have the images and let's see the csv file we are going to explore the data set in detail in the next task, but let's see what is in the train CSV. So you can see here we have the image is path. So all of this paths are present in the image path column. And next we have the coordinates or bounding box and we have the label. So in this project, we are going to output just the coordinates. So we are not going to focus on the 
labels okay let's close this so we have successfully downloaded the data set next thing is these are some common libraries which are going to be very useful in the further task so let's just run this okay let's also run this so in the next task we are going to write the configurations now configurations are nothing but the variables or parameters which are going to be useful in the further task so in this task we have see we have successfully copied our notebook to our google drive and uh, we have also downloaded the libraries and also downloaded the data set in the next task we are going to write the configurations in this task we are going to write our configurations of this project so firstly let's start with defining the different paths which are going to be useful in the further task okay so let's start with the csv file csv file and here we are going to give the path of train csv okay copy path okay now same thing goes to the data directory so data directory is going to be object localization data set path okay now slash okay so this project is going to be completely on gpu so our device is going to be cuda okay next is the bet size bet size let's take 16 bit size as 140 learning rate let's take 0 0.001 and then epox equals to 40 in this project we are going to use efficient net b0 so our model name will be efficient net b0 okay the number of coordinates are going to be 4 okay so we are done with writing the configurations now if you are writing configurations for the first time don't worry about it all of these things are going to be useful in the further tasks so right now you can take this configuration as the remote control of this project after completing this project you can play with different values also so let's run this cell okay now let's read the csv file so df equals to pd dot read csv and the csv file path is already mentioned in the configuration so csv file okay let's run this cell so you can see here we have the images path we have the bounding box coordinates in the pascal voc format and we have the labels and uh, all of these images are of 227 cross 227 so in this project we are mainly going to focus for the bounding boxes so all of this thing that is the label we are not going to focus on the label because we will not do any classification task we are just going to do a localization task so in this task you have successfully written the configurations for this project you have also read the csv file in the next task we are going to understand the data set by plotting some of the images so see you in the next task